Well, your vocals seem to become more and more brutal in every release. Uh, for really? me, yeah, for me personally, <laughs> this is this is your best for vocally speaking since your days in pestilence and consuming pills, you know. So, do you follow some cares or vocal coaching for your voice? Well, f first of all, I mean, thank you very much for the compliment. I mean, I really do my best, and uh, uh, yeah, it's really nice to hear that. Really, you know, throughout you know throughout all these years. But no, I, I don't have a coach of anything. I'm, I'm self-taught with all that. But um, I have to admit that I do. I have a kind of a discipline in training myself, so yeah. I keep it always in shape. And uh, um, yeah, so that, that's basically you know, if you have like a show in a weekend or something, um, and all the traveling. And when I come back on Sunday, late usually, then I give it, I give my voice a little bit of a rest on the Monday, and I slowly built it up from Tuesday on. Yeah. So if you have like another show then for the next weekend, I'm completely, um, yeah, build up again, and I'm ready to go. So it's, it's not just, uh, yeah, that you can just sit and relax and you know, lay back and and, and not do anything. I mean, it takes it takes it takes some discipline to keep it in that shape, but. Um, like I said, I'm doing that all the time. That's the reason I think, um, yeah, well, it's still going so good. Um, but next to that, I mean, I also have a lot of joy, in, uh, joy you know, in doing it, and uh, not just with with, with Asterix, but also with Halo Bullets. And um, you improve, you know, still after all these years, there's still still always things that you can improve. Yeah. And um, that's very very nice, really. Cool. Um, <laughs> I fucking love the beginning of that hammer. You know, uh, this is true, that metal, you bastards. <laughs> it's, a, it's a fucking statement, man. There are a lot of bands that keep the spirit of old school death metal alive, but several that tend to mix death metal with new flavors. So, if I say to you words like dead core or metal core and the like, what do you think? Uh, well, it's, the thing is, like, it's not my kind of kind of style, really. Yeah. I mean, there's some there's some you know, weird bands. Which I, you know, hardly people know or something. Which I do like certain songs, but it's not that I like the overall kind of style. And next to that, I, well, I don't know really, but I hear there's like a kind of an, a kind of an, an animosity from those bands towards like uh, uh, traditional kind of death metal, which is bollocks basically. Because if, if you know, if we wouldn't have been there, I don't even know if we, if they would have been here at the moment. So that you know, uh, in a way, because we did what we used to do in the past, you know, that's, that's their reason that they are existing anyway, but um, it's not it's not my cup of tea really. I mean, I'm I'm pretty when it comes to death metal, I'm pretty traditional. I mean, not into uh, uh, bands that do like high skill kind of guitar playing or stuff, you know, because they've got so many riffings in their songs that you can hardly recognize a song as a you know as really a song because there's so many much riffs in it. Yeah. So what, what happens is if you listen to it, 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 it doesn't stick into your mind. You go like, well. How many times do they want me to listen it before you know I before I finally will recognize that okay this is some kind of a song it's you know it's just um it's not my thing I mean I do appreciate the way that they can play their guitars or whatever or instruments but it doesn't mean that they have to prove that all the way on the song I mean um uh, just like an example or whatever I mean a guy like John Bollum like the drummer of you know Led Zeppelin like may rest in peace for a long time but I mean he was like one of the best drummers that ever lived and and uh, he was never doing all that. Um, yeah, he never showed really on a song itself like how good he could play. You know, you could just listen to the man, and then you can you can you can make out what you know how good he was. So um, yeah, that's that's just one example. You know, but, yeah. but I mean, it's of course it's always good in music that it evolves and and that you know it's it's it's, it's like a logic logical kind of thing, but. Um, the way that metal did evolve like over the last years, it's you not know, to me. It was not really. I'm, I wasn't really happy with it, <laughs> to be honest. I mean, there's not so many new bands that I really like. I, of course, there are some, but they play more like an old kind of style that I like. You know? Yeah. Well, that was my next question. And the music you guys play in this album is not that complicated. I mean, in some songs there are three or four main riffs fast drums and some breakdowns doomy style so yeah. do you think that if you include some more technical guitars or more technical drum parts it won't be the same direct impact in the listener 
No, not for. I mean, the thing is that this. I mean, this is disastrous, and we know what we are. We know what we can do best, and the best for us is to keep it as simple as we can, and just have songs that that you know they just stick to your head like really quickly. It's the way that we like it, and, and it's the way that we have done it all the time. You know, like throughout well since the beginning of. I mean, since uh, since eighty seven, I guess twenty five years ago. Yeah, and that's what I mean. And we do have like a really lot of dedicated fans over the worldwide, and they don't want us to change our style. So why should we do that? The only thing what we, in the way that we are uh, uh, changing a little bit, is that um, uh, we do keep up with with uh, like say modern day ways of uh, recording things or working with things. You know, yeah. which which make it easier for you as a band, and even make it also uh, um, uh, financially like cheaper for us, and also for the label to record, because it's not necessary anymore to to go three or four weeks in a studio, which costs a lot of money. Yeah. And then having a deadline, and you go out, and you're not even satisfied with it, you know. So that, that's that's another. I mean, that's what we try to do. We try to to work on that, and try to work on on certain sounds that we can create. And I think with that time, I mean. The fact that we are also very happy and pleased with the album, not only you know because all the, all the lads did, did, a, did a marvelous job, but also because Dan, as as our um, yeah, like say like the fifth member or sixth member, whatever you want to call him, uh, he did a wonderful job again with 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 the mixing, and that is also because he's keeping up on modern day technology and tries to give us this uh, yeah, as an old school death metal band still. You know, with a recognizable style, but, but you do, you know, have like a kind of modern day sound. And that, that's the way we keep up with things, but not on uh, approving on, on how good we can play or something. You know, we're not very good to talented musicians, you know, from the, in the first place, but, um, well, for us, that's not really necessary.